Hello and welcome to my channel. Here's a landscape in charcoal. I'm going to do a drawing of a cloudy sunset. Let me show you how I did it. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to sketch out the line of the horizon and in this case it'll be a little bit lower than usual, about one-fifth of the height of the paper. I also need to decide where the brightest portion of the of the paper will be and to give myself an idea where it will be I drew a I sketched out a tree on the horizon it will be a sort of a landmark for me after that I'm gonna put down some charcoal powder I created this charcoal powder by sharpening one of my pencils and once that is in place I'm just gonna do some blending with a paper towel I'm gonna, I'm gonna blend very gently. I'm not trying to push it in. I, I'm just trying to uh, distribute it evenly and blend it fairly evenly. I want to avoid texture and I want to avoid great variations in value. So I need to be careful. So I'm gonna work slowly and patiently. Just blending a little bit at a time. If you use a charcoal powder that you bought, it's probably a finer grain, it's probably easier to work with, but the one that I create by sharpening can be a little bit scratchy, so I need to be a little bit more careful. So you can see I blended this by pushing the charcoal from the darker areas onto this lighter area, leaving the lighter portion where the sunset will be. Now once that is done, and once I'm pretty happy with the way it looks, and it looks pretty smooth, it doesn't have to be perfect, I'm going to start working with a piece of willow charcoal. So this tiny stick that I'm holding now, that's a piece of willow charcoal. It's a soft, natural charcoal that can be blended and moved around very easily, and I'm just going to draw some clouds with it. I'm going to draw some of these irregular shapes, and they kind of look like trees, like foliage, but I'm going to blend them so they will look better. So I'm just going to put down enough of the charcoal to get some interesting shapes, and then I'm going to do some blending. Now here's an important lesson about blending tools. Different blending tools have different effects, so you should use all of them. So for example, a tutilian, which is what I'm using now, pushes the charcoal in and you can see that the area that I made darker using the willow charcoal stick remains somewhat darker. And I'm still blending it, softening it a little bit, removing a bit of the texture. However, if I try to use a brush, you can see that it's lifting up a little bit of charcoal if I use a soft synthetic brush. So the soft brush will make it lighter, the tortillion will leave this darker value by pushing the charcoal into the grain of the paper. So you can see when I dab with a soft synthetic brush, I can move the material on the surface of the paper more easily and I can create some almost painterly effects as though I were working with watercolor and uh, sometimes that's a good, a good idea, sometimes you just want to create darker areas, sometimes you just want to push that charcoal in, so depending on that you need to choose the right blending tool. Uh, so in this stage I just want to come up with some interesting shapes and uh, I, wanna, I want them to stand out against the background, they need to be darker than the than this background and the space value of the background and I need to blend them to avoid too much detail and texture. So here and there I'm going to add some of these smaller shapes. Again I'm working with a piece of willow charcoal because it's very easy to manipulate. If I want to I can create some more definite clear, clearer shapes with a cleaner edge and if I want to soften the edges and soften the shapes, I can do that as well uh, using a soft brush or even my finger. 
or a paper towel or something like that. So I'm just going to scatter these clouds all over the place. Now here's another important thing. Different brushes also have different effects. So right now I'm using a, a harder bristle brush which works quite a bit differently than the soft synthetic brush because you can see that I can push the charcoal into the paper and create these darker areas rather than just move the dust, the charcoal dust over the surface of the paper. So essentially if I want to make something a little bit darker I either use a tutelian for smaller areas or a harder, stiffer brush for larger areas or I use a softer brush for uh, when I want to make something lighter or move the chalk or blend it more evenly that I just use a softer brush. So I hope it makes sense but uh, the main idea, the main point is that different blending tools will have different effects and you need to be aware of that if you want to make the most out of your blending tools and create a nice looking uh, charcoal drawing. So now I'm starting to work with a Kohino pencil eraser and I'm going to draw some lighter details here. I'm just going to draw some lighter marks here and there to try to describe to the viewer like some parts of those clouds are catching a bit of light from that light source around the edges. Catching a little bit of light around the edges of those clouds. And the tool that I'm using for this purpose, like I said, is a Kohino pencil eraser. It's just a soft rubber eraser and a pencil and it works really well for those uh, smaller, finer, uh, lighter areas you need to draw because um, it's very convenient. You can use it just like you would a pencil and it can also be sharpened. So I'm adding some more clouds here in the top right corner. I, I want to have those clouds all over the place and kind of converging towards the central point of the scene, if that makes sense. I should probably say a few more words about the materials uh, because I'm just going to add some more clouds here to the right. Uh, in addition to willow charcoal, I'm going to use some other stuff. I used charcoal powder, but I'm also going to use um, the uh, Master Touch medium charcoal pencil. And as for the paper, I'm using a Fabriano drawing paper, about 9 times 12 inches in size. So that's about all you need to know. As for the reference, it will be in the description if you want to check it out. It's a little bit different than the final uh, than the final landscape and the final outcome. But I always uh, like to take a bit more artistic license, a bit more of a loose approach when it comes to landscapes. Again, I'm working with this pencil eraser and adding some more of these lighter areas here and there. So like I said, once again, these are some of the portions of those clouds which are catching a little bit more light from that sun, from that setting sun. And um, the good thing about this is that you don't really need to commit to exact shapes. I can always soften that and move that around a little bit, make some modifications. Right now I'm just kind of playing around, trying to see if I can come up with some interesting looking clouds, interesting looking shapes. Um, I realized that some of my clouds had a little bit too much texture, so I decided to soften them a little bit. And another thing I did was to use this, this soft synthetic brush to dab on some portions of those clouds and make them a little bit lighter. You can notice that every now and then I just wipe my brush and you can wipe it on, uh, wipe, uh, wipe it on your hand or a paper towel or just on your t-shirt if you don't mind. And when you clean it, it can lift up more charcoal. So it's basically like a light eraser of some sort. I went over that line of the horizon one more time to define it a bit better and now I'm just going to add some of these lower hanging clouds. I need more clouds in the lower part of the scene. So I'm just going to add some more with a piece of willow charcoal. And I want to have all kinds of shapes. I want to have some longer shapes, some smaller tiny shapes 
I just want to have a lot of these scattered clouds above the horizon and kind of covering that lighter portion of the sunset because that will create some additional interesting contrast and I want to have some very low hanging clouds just above the horizon. And I'm going to do most of the blending here with this harder bristle brush and then with a tutelion for some of the smallest shapes. Uh, while I'm blending, some of the edges will get a little bit softened and a little bit blurry, but I can always maybe bring them back, clean them up a little bit, redo them using the uh, that willow charcoal or something. So I can always do a bit of refining if I'm not happy with the exact appearance of the shapes. If you want to soften things and blend it more thoroughly, you can use a larger brush like this larger round brush that I'm using now. But you have to be careful with that because um, it can make everything a little bit too blurry. So you need to be careful with it because you may lose some of those finer, smaller shapes that you worked hard to create. I also want to have some... Uh, uh, I also want to refine the appearance of this sunset area, this brightest area. And I'm going to create a slightly more irregular shape the way that I sort of see in the reference. Because the shape is a little bit distorted by the clouds. And I'm doing a little bit more blending all over the place and adding some, some more clouds here and there where I felt like some parts of the scene needed to be a little bit darker. Uh, just so that maybe it would look a little bit more balanced. I'm again using this uh, pencil eraser to add some uh, lighter details on the bottom portion of these clouds just to make sure that they are catching a little bit of light here and there from that light source. And I'm using a tutelion also to draw some of these smaller, final, final, uh, finer clouds that I wouldn't be able to do with some other tool. You need to remember that your tutelion is also a drawing tool. When it picks up a little bit of charcoal, you can use it to draw uh, smaller shapes, lighter shapes. So it doesn't have to be just a blending tool. It can also be a drawing tool. So you can use your blending tools in a creative manner. You, I already showed you that you can use a, a brush as, a, as an erasing tool and you can use a tutelion as a drawing tool. So. I'm drawing some of these smaller clouds uh, above the horizon and in front of the sunset, in front of the setting sun, just to create more contrast in, in front of that uh, brightest, lightest area. Now here on the horizon I'm going to draw a tree. That's going to be one of the largest trees here on the horizon because I'm going to be drawing this bottom portion of the paper now and it's going to be a lot darker. For this I'm going to use a charcoal pencil. I already mentioned that I'm going to use Master Touch woodless charcoal pencils and I'm going to use a medium grade. It's going to be dark enough. So I need to come up with a really nice shape of a tree. I want it to look detailed. I want it to have a nice shape and a nice structure. I'm also going to draw some branches and a tree trunk and some suggestions of clusters of leaves and stuff like that. I want it to have a nice looking canopy. But the idea is that it has to be dark. It has to be dark, uh, not just because this is a sunset, but because uh, I want these darker elements in the foreground to stand out against the background in order to create contrast and tension. Contrast with the background and this tension between these lighter and darker elements uh, will draw the focus of the viewer to that sunset. And you can also see that the clouds are positioned in such a way that they are kind of converging onto that uh, sunset area. So it's almost like the elements are arranged in such a manner as to tell the viewer, look at here, this is where I want you to look. So there are lots of, there are lots of little tricks 
that you can use to achieve that effect and the composition, the arrangement of elements, the contrast, the tension, those are just some of the tools that you need to use and that you need to be aware of. As for this bottom portion which is going to be darker, I want it to be simpler in terms of the amount of detail but I'm just going to leave a little bit of texture, I'm not going to blend it too thoroughly you know, I just want to leave a little bit of suggestion of detail, like maybe uh, there are some fields there or something. The drawing is now done. I'm going to put my signature in the lower left corner. I drew my signature with that eraser, and I'm just going to modify some of these lighter bits here within, with the eraser as well. And that's pretty much it. So I hope you like it. Don't forget to check out my other videos and also maybe subscribe, give me a like, comment, let me know what you think. I also want to hear your suggestions about what I should draw, things like that. And for those who like to draw themselves, who want to improve, uh, you can see longer videos, longer tutorials, full-length narrated videos and more content on my Patreon. So that's all for now. Thanks for watching and I'm going to see you in the next one. Bye-bye.